how wild, uh, not weird, trademark, <laughs> uh, how wild is it that Darby Hendrickson, who you saw there at, at the very beginning, has been a Minnesota wild guy through and through until this summer? It almost, it doesn't seem like, I, I read that, he, that he's leaving, right? Or he's not coming back. He's anymore. going to Nashville. Yeah. I was like, that's no, 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 that can't happen. That's not right. <laughs> You're not allowed. That's not that. The next thing I thought was this would never happen if Sid Hartman were still here. <laughs> um, but it was, uh, no, it was a stunner. He was clearly one of the nicest people I ever covered. And I know I've told you this story before too, too Joe. In 2002, my mom had a surgery and she passed away suddenly. And I had to, my, my brother was with her in Florida. She was back here in Florida. And I, I rushed to come back and, um, and she was actually in the hospital for a couple of days before she passed away. But, uh, but I get a phone call one day and I, and I don't recognize it. And it was Darby. And he said, Hey, I hear your, your mom's sick, or maybe she had just passed away. And he said, hold on. And he talked to me for 10 minutes and just wished me the best. And this is, you know, I was just a guy. I didn't, you know, I covered them, but I wasn't like, you know, obviously it was still a, a media player relationship. And um, he handed the phone to Andrew Brunette, who also went on for a great, you know, uh, few minutes just talking about how sorry he was. And and I just always, I always remember Darby Hendrickson just reaching out to me when my mom had passed away and could not have been nicer. Yeah, and it, it doesn't seem right that he's no longer a, a Minnesota Wild guy. So. Well, it, it says a lot that he lasted through all, of, all those regimes, right? It speaks to the character he is, the, the, the person he is, and the coach he is that – now many guys can last through like five coaching changes, right? Like usually right. they bring in their own guys. So I think that's more of a testament or kind of more of a reality check of like, hey, this is this doesn't happen in sports to have a yeah. guy like that. And um, I also like to think that they they know how much he meant to the community, how much he meant to Minnesotans, and um, yeah, he is. I, I mean, I think if you were to make a list of like great Minnes, not necessarily best Minnesota hockey players, but like great person, Minnesota personalities, players, coaches, whatever. Mm-hmm. In the history of the state, I mean, he would be in your top twenty-five, probably, maybe thirty. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a little higher, higher than, than that. I don't know. Yeah, maybe um, I like just as far as like impact and yeah. like likeability and all that stuff. Yeah. 